Motherboard. Imagine your computer as a city. The motherboard is like the entire infrastructure. The roads, the electricity lines, the water supply. Everything depends on it. It's a giant printed circuit board that holds the CPU, RAM, storage drives, GPU, and connects them together with data highways called buses. It also decides compatibility. If you buy the wrong CPU for your motherboard socket, it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. And yes, motherboards even come in different sizes. ATX, Micro ATX, Mini ITX, like pizza sizes, but for tech geeks. CPU, the brain. The CPU, Central Processing Unit, is literally the boss. Every time you open Chrome with 20 tabs, or run a game, or even type on your keyboard, the CPU is processing billions of instructions per second. It's made up of cores. Each core is like a worker. More cores equals more workers equals more multitasking. Intel and AMD fight like Coke and Pepsi, but honestly, both are insanely powerful today. Fun fact, modern CPUs are so fast, they can complete billions of operations in less time than it takes you to blink. RAM, short-term memory. If the CPU is the brain, RAM is the brain's short-term memory. Imagine working on a math problem. You don't write every step down permanently. You keep some numbers in your head temporarily. That's RAM. The bigger your RAM, the more tasks you can juggle at once. That's why with 4 gigabytes RAM, opening Chrome, Photoshop, and a game together feels like torture. But with 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, your PC runs like butter. Storage. HDD versus SSD. Storage is your computer's long-term memory, where all your files, games, and embarrassing old photos live. Hard disk drives, spinning magnetic disks, cheap, huge storage, but slow, like using a record player. SSDs, solid-state drives, no moving parts, lightning fast, boots your PC in seconds, but smaller and pricier. NVMe SSDs, the Ferraris of storage, blazing fast, can move gigabytes in seconds, perfect for gamers and video editors. Think of it this way, HDD equals library archive, SSD equals bookshelf in your room, NVMe SSD equals book directly in your hand. GPU, the graphics beast. If the CPU is the brain, the GPU, graphics processing unit, is the artist. It handles rendering videos, images, and especially games. Without it, your PC can still run, but forget smooth gaming or 4K video editing. Fun fact, GPUs are so powerful in parallel processing that they're used in AI training, crypto mining, and even supercomputers. So, when gamers say, bro, what GPU do you have? They're basically asking how strong your PC's biceps are. Power supply, PSU. Your PC can't survive without electricity, and that's the PSU's job. It takes the scary 220 volts or 110 volts from your wall and safely converts it into the right amount your components can handle. A cheap PSU is like using a leaky charger. One wrong surge and boom, your PC's fried. Always invest in a good one. Cooling system. Computers get hot. CPUs and GPUs can literally cook an egg if not cooled. That's why you need cooling systems. From simple fans to fancy liquid cooling setups that look like a car radiator. Remember, a cooler PC equals faster performance equals longer lifespan. Heat is the silent killer of electronics. Case or chassis. The case is the body that holds everything together. It's not just for looks. It manages airflow, cable organization, and protection. Today, cases come with RGB lights so flashy they make your PC look like a nightclub. Other important components. BIOS or UEFI. Tiny software that boots your PC before Windows starts. Network card. Connects you to the internet. Without it, your PC is just an expensive calculator. Sound card. Dedicated cards for audio files. But most motherboards already have decent sound built in. Expansion slots. PCIe. Let you add upgrades like extra GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, or capture cards. 